Hi, my name is Kyle Hamilton. I'm a sales engineer with Flycast Partners. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about knowledge management usage in the ShareWell Service Management Solution. Now, it's important to note that not only can you create and, and curate a knowledge base for both staff and IT users, but we've made it very easy within the ShareWell interface to be able to provide simple access and, and easy to, for the users to get at the knowledge right from an incident or a problem or change request or anywhere they may be within the tool. And that's provided via a pop-out knowledge window that's available on any of those screens on the left-hand side of the ShareWell interface. You'll see I can open that up simply by mousing over and then pin that to the desktop or dashboard if I want to make sure that that stays open at all times, letting the, the user or making the user aware that that's there and available. And you can see that it allows you as an administrator to provide multiple search and uh, retrieve options, whether that be knowledge that's specifically uh, created within ShareWell as a knowledge article, um, you can search based on the different types of articles, whether those be known errors, FAQs, um, you know, the different types of articles that you create. And you can also filter those articles down to view, you know, maybe articles that have been created within the last week or the last month or the, the previous year. So if they're looking for something that's in a particular time frame or time range, it'll allow them to filter, you know, that information out very easily on any of the searches that they're performing. You can also allow them to search external sources, which can be critical for a lot of customers that already have pre-built content that exists, whether that be content that's sitting in a, a SharePoint portal or something that's already built into an intranet site, or perhaps you simply want to pipe them out to external vendor sites, things like Microsoft TechNet, if you're digging into Microsoft information and knowledge, or maybe even more on a global basis or general basis, things like Google or Yahoo or Bing, so that you can provide the staff users as well as the customers the ability to search not only uh, information within ShareWell, but the vast knowledge of information that you can find on the internet and other internal sources of your organization outside of ShareWell. So at any point in time, a user or customer, user in this case, can come in here and type a particular question or keyword or subject matter and perform a search against any of the options that they wish. And of course they can, if they don't wish to search against Google, they're not interested in those results. They're not interested in finding things on TechNet. They can easily turn those searches off by making a you know, deselection with that checkbox. And as they move forward, again, it'll actually search those different sources that they have connected and enable you to see some uh, critical information on top of uh, information, you know, related to the title, or title of the article and or content, um, specifically things like rankings, right? Uh, the rankings for each article in terms of how it's been ranked by users in the past, commentary, things like that. So if I'm interested in knowing how to set up a Wi-Fi connection, for example, I can click on that particular article. You'll see it'll pop it up in another window for me here. And I'll take these tabs down to the bottom so we can see all the detail. Um, and you'll see it provides me with multiple options. Um, first and foremost, I've got the ability to view the contents of the article. So again, if I'm working on the phone with a customer, this may be a series of steps that I can easily walk them through while I'm on the phone with them. So hopefully being able to help them through to a solution or a resolution while, while I've got them uh, on the phone with me. Um, but I can also, um, after, perhaps after using this knowledge article, um, maybe add some commentary if I want to make a comment. Um, perhaps I want to say uh, this information needs to be updated. So perhaps um, I walk through these steps and after we get to the end of the steps, um, there's no resolution. You know, it doesn't help the user or perhaps the screens displayed in the, the knowledge article itself are out of date as opposed to the latest version of that Wi-Fi application or their desktop or laptop. So I can place a comment on the article that can easily be viewed by other users pulling up this article as well as within knowledge article reports and other management and executive information, again, so that you can use this type of commentary and feedback that you're getting on these articles to determine what needs to be created and, and perhaps updated 
or deleted within the knowledge base itself. Um, I can actually even, uh, if I've been given or granted the permissions, choose to retire this article. Right? So you'll see it moves the status from you know, an active status where users can actually search on it or publish status into a retired status, which does two things. Number one, that can automatically notify the knowledge manager that a, an article has been retired so that they know to come in and perhaps delete the article or get rid of the article outright, or perhaps come in and you know, make a review or perform a review of the article so that it can then be published back out to the knowledge base. Um, the other uh, thing that uh, retiring that article does is it removes it from view. So now as users go back to that knowledge search window, whether it be within um, the IT portal or if we're talking about the Sharewell portal, if it's an article that's being displayed there, um, being able to um, pull that out of the list. So if users then search on wireless information or have a question related to wireless, this information no longer gets returned as a result. As long as it's in that retired state, it no longer becomes a solution that's available for search and retrieval. So it allows you to not only provide feedback that could be used in reporting, but also gives you some direct action um, to be able to either request an update, simply make a comment that it needs to be updated, or perhaps just pull it out of the knowledge base by retiring it so that it doesn't show up as a result in somebody's screen or somebody's face and they try to follow those instructions only to find that the information is out of date or incorrect. Now for users that are interested in a deeper dive on the use of knowledge articles, please feel free to contact us and we'd be happy to set up a demonstration and walk you through a more in-depth or deep dive on knowledge article usage and creation. Or if you simply want uh, to have a few questions answered, please reach out and touch, uh, make contact with us at Flycast by calling us at 1-844-FLYCAST, which is 1-844-359-2278. Or you can also send us an email at info at flycastpartners.com, and we'll be sure to reach out and contact you and get you the information you're looking for. Thanks for listening.